Now, it's time for this. The World of Woke. Now, how many times have we heard the clarion call? How long have we got to save the planet? Aren't we already in some kind of climate emergency? If you believe the Just Stop Oil doom-mongers and the Greta Thunbergs of this world, you might be forgiven for thinking it's already too late. But, of course, they keep extending the deadline. Even though we're not doing enough to stop climate change and even though our net zero commitments aren't being met fast enough and despite being told that we've missed every ecological deadline there is, apparently there's still time. But wait, there's a new doom and gloom merchant to be heard from. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Simon Steele, a previously unheard of climate zealot who resides as the Executive Secretary of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, or UNFCCC for short. That's a new one on me. He's come out and said, we only have two years left to save the world which in its way sounds even more dramatic than Ed Miliband once declaring rather pompously that we only had 24 hours to save the NHS. Of course, that was 10 years ago, back in 19, uh, 2014. Simple Simon, a former minister in Grenada, by contrast, is talking about the here and now. He made a speech at Chatham House in London in which he declared the next two years to be pivotal because of record-shattering heat and a race between countries to a new clean energy economy. The title of the speech was um, Two Years to Save the World. Simon was one of the key figures at the COP28 climate summit in Dubai, where the main achievement was to all agree there should be a COP29 in Baku, Azerbaijan, in November this year. Considering the worldwide alarm at all these events, you'd have thought they wouldn't have to keep having them. But there's nothing like a global jolly for all the politicians and green goblins to fly into on private jets once a year, is there? Apparently, it's still all our fault, of course, even though the UK has actually reduced emissions by 52.7% since 1990. Not good enough, say the climate zealots we are still going to miss our UN goal of a 68% cut by 2030. Simon says we saw record-breaking fires in Canada and Greece last year. No mention of being started by arsonists, of course. And he reckons we had extreme heat waves baking Europe, North America and China. I thought it was quite nice last summer, actually. Next year, the COP30 party will be held in Brazil. I bet the climate loons can't wait to shake their booties on Copacabana Beach. By then, of course, it would have become too late to save anything. So just try and enjoy the rest of the week. The world of woke.